Hey, good morning from the Philippines. My doc, the Logos Norte. <sighs> yeah, it's one of them mornings, man. It's Tuesday the 17th. Yeah. And it's 0730, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, I look haggard as hell. I don't care. Miles is looking beautiful as normal. Right, Miles? <laughs> what are you, so conceited? <laughs> I'm just busted. Yeah, we still got we still got England weather, cloudy. Sorry about that. The camera shut off. Why? I have no idea. Yeah, the call for rain. Late on today. I think it's around two. But the way the weather looks and as damp it is, I I was was gonna wash some clothes today. Yeah. But I was like, nah, I ain't gonna ice. It, it's just. <laughs> But the, it's but, humid, yeah, it's real humid, yeah. You know? It's very humid. Well, this is all morning at a glance. Don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. But it means we have no idea. Mm. Mm. Alright, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah, man, it's like 11.30. It's a blah day. Ain't it muck? It's just, it's been raining on and off all day long. And we just don't want to go outside and deal with it, so. It's been a uneventful morning. Hey, Miles? What you making? Fried chicken and chicken. Chicken strips? Yeah. Where's your enthusiasm? <sighs> <laughs> One day we need to go to vegan. Is it raining down there? I don't know. Let's just get out of the house. Mm. Getting cabin fever, you know what I mean? Nothing to do. You want to say something? What do you want to say? Nothing to do. Did uh, Dexter call you? Okay. Yeah, Dexter's our aircon guy. He was supposed to. Sometime this week, he's supposed to come and clean our aircons. They say about every two or three months get it cleaned for more efficient one in aircon. But I guess he's busy, I don't know. I don't make a schedule for him, so the only person has got to answer that question is him. He's reliable, man. Never had any problems with him. He called, oh, you don't, you don't know if he, he is full, the schedule is full this week. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. I just hope he gives us some, give us some type of advance notice. Doesn't, just doesn't show up, you know what I mean? Because we gotta, we gotta put the dogs away. Uh -huh. So they can roam freely between the three, three rooms. The back. The back room, we're not going to have it done. We haven't ran it, so there's no, no sense of getting it clean. We'll put the dogs back in the back bedroom and have the air come running back there for them. And he can have at it, you know. Like I said before, he's, he's, a, he's good, man, what he does. He doesn't really, takes everything apart. He just doesn't. Some place, some people you get to do it, they'll come in here and they don't even remove the air con from the wall. They just do everything in, in place, and it's, a lot of people say it's a mess. You know, you get water all over the place, and then they just leave, and you got to clean it up, which I'm, I'm not in for that. So uh, he takes everything off, takes it outside, pressure washes it, and then puts it all, everything back up, and then then does an operational test, make sure. Wait, it's in U.S. just just clean it there? No, I, some people here in the Philippines do that. They just leave the aircon in, in place. 
And they use these bags, man. They put a bag around it and it hangs down the bottom of it. And when they're spraying it, the inferior, all the water's going in this bag. And the bag has like a little, uh, like a hole type deal where they have a hose connected to it. And it drains outside, man. It just seems to me that's just too many things can go wrong, you know. That's just my opinion. I'm not an expert. But I just think a bag, how many times did they use that bag? You know, after a while, the bag loses integrity and it rips or gets a hole in it. And then you got water all over the damn place. I ain't dealing with that. You know? It's called unnecessary cleanup work. You know, and like I said, Dexter, man. But it only takes them what? To take the thing off and take it outside, five minutes right there, boom. Takes it outside, takes it apart. He has a helper with him. They clean the hell out of it with a pressure washer. Then he puts everything back in place, op tests it. Very smooth operation. Hey, Miles. <laughs> Miles is in the same way of thinking that she's just pouring out of just, her ass. I just put my arm comfortable. Why? You got, what time is your uh, therapy today? Four. Four? Okay. I thought you said she changed it's it to very five. Late. Very late. Yeah, I know. You don't like doing that late. Did you ever say anything to her? Yeah, and then later, later when she left, I will prepare the dinner. Well, tonight we can go out to dinner or we can get something takeout. That's why I'm doing it now. Oh, you you should have said so. You could say something to me, and I can do so, it. So it could. So when she left, she will. I will just cook it, prepare it now. Like I said, you say something to me, I could cook it, Miles. I know how to cook. I don't know if y'all can hear the rain in mine. It's been like this all day, on and off. Right, for about 10, 15 minutes, then it stops. Yeah, it, it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, there was a, uh, there's a channel that I heard from another vlogger, it's called, what was it called, Westpac? Now, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it, man, and I'll give you the exact. It's a retired American guy that does weather reports on YouTube, and it's called... Come on, man. I'm sorry. Here we go, YouTube. I want, I want, I want to be proper about this and not give you some in. Misinformation. It's a YouTube channel. It's an American guy. <sighs> what the? Okay. It's called West Pack WS. Capital W, capital P. Capital W and an X. Westpac WX. Yeah, he gives you uh, weather, weather information for the Philippines and other Southeast, Southeast Asian countries. But he says there is no typhoon. It's a rumor, there is no typhoon. What did he say it was, Miles? What? That weather guy. What do you call it? Tropical. The tropical. Yes, the English guy. Tropical suppression, was it? Did he say? Tropical. But they they said here it is a typhoon. <laughs> okay. Who told you this? You. After that, the. 
point very well ago there is a Filipino Filipino weather forecast okay. it's a telephone I mean, as like I said, man, there ain't jack going on. We're just like... So I'll let you go for now. I'll talk to you later. Hey. Yeah, I'm on my way. Had to go to the pharmacy and get some med medicine for miles. As soon as I got, got out of the gate and started walking down the street, it started raining. <laughs> yeah, I said, let me go now, it's not raining. No, I was, I was tricked. Yeah, it ain't that far. And I'm also wearing the slippers or the flip-flops, which I hate. But, tired of getting my shoes sopping wet all the time. It shouldn't take me long to walk that man. It only takes me a couple minutes to walk up and then a couple minutes to walk back. Yeah, me and Miles were talking earlier. And I think she's... I don't think she will, but maybe it's just talk about going to Vietnam. Because she's hearing all these great things about it. And I was like, well... When we got the money, we can go. And she also asked me, well, she kind of, she didn't really ask, but in conversation, basically, could I live in Vietnam? I said, I don't know, I've never been there. Well, they say the food's a lot better. The exchange rate is great. And, uh, and other things that are a plus. I don't know. Yes, there's foreigners that live in Vietnam. Still keep on insisting. How you doing? Miles keeps on insisting that this is a typhoon. Right, okay, I ain't gonna argue with her, man. I'm just not. I'm not gonna argue. I just say okay. They believe the chismas before they believe anything else. That's the funny thing. Chismis is gossip. They'll believe that before they believe anything. And anyone, any foreigner that's involved with a Philippine woman or man will tell me and will say that's true. So I'm like, whatever. Okay. It has no effect on my life. I could go less. You know? Yeah, we uh, ordered some Folgers coffee. Wasn't that? It was a couple of days ago, like four days ago. We just got it in. I got the big, the big one. Was it like 1.43 kilos? I think, or 2.43 kilos. I'm not too sure. So I don't know. It'll last us a little over a month. <laughs> no, we're not going to use it right now because we still have. A container, a container that's like three quarters of full that we got from the owners of the yellow house they gave it to us, which was awfully nice and I thank them for it. Yeah, they even shut the schools down. It was a typhoon. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Not my country, not my rules. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, the kids are in school, what are they going to do? They'll be outside playing. 
Found out today, man, I got a, uh, we got Google TV. It's got like 150 channels. I haven't checked it out. Only a couple, you know, I watched uh, that one show used to be not, not Little House in the Prairie, but the other one where he was basically an angel. I can't think of the name of it. Michael Landon and that guy who was on the show too, the guy with the beard, he's on there. Yeah, watch that. Yeah, I just turned down here. There we go. Was it Michael London, I think his name was. He passed away a few years, he passed away years ago. He was the father of a little house in the prairie. Hey, you know, right here. Hello. How you doing this blatant sunshine day? Whoop. I hope I didn't forget the note. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I forgot the note. She wanted uh, a... For a pain? Uh, how many comes in a strip? Uh, 10 pieces. 50 pesos. Alright, let me have uh, two strips. And we'll call it an even 100. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, thank you very much. Hello, thank you. Uh, you have a good day. Thank you, sir. There we go. Yeah, her, her, uh, her arm has been bothering her, and I keep on telling her she needs to slow down, but she's stubborn. So, I mean, I don't... You can only do so much. That's all I can say. You can only say and do so much. And then you just got to throw in the freaking towel. And say, alright, I'll support you. I might not agree with it, but I'll support you. I walk down this street here. They can stop raining. I'll keep the umbrella out just in case, man. I don't want this camera getting wet. They say GoPro is waterproof, but they say a lot of things, right? Hey. Huh? Oh, school supplies. Yes. Hello. Yeah, I, I would love, it's up to her, go to vegan. But now we have to wait around miles saying, well, we got the Aircon Air guy coming. I said, all right. I said, I just, okay, and within the next two weeks, this week and next week, I want to go, I want to go to vegan. I got to get out of this house. It's just the, the way the weather is. And some of you guys understand it. Some of you, some of you guys won't. And that's fine is that you get tired of just sitting around the house. You know, you can't do any yard work because it's raining and it's muddy. So you just sit. I mean, I think I watched every video that I'm subscribed to. I think I watched every one of them and ones that I missed for the past five years. <laughs> hey, that's just, yeah, it's been boring.
I think I got to the end of YouTube, you know what I mean? Actually, I was watching some videos just for curiosity's sake. I was fact checking, fact checking the vlogs that I used to watch before I came here, before I even visited for the first time. I watched them and and trying to figure out oh, that guy's full of shit. That guy's full of shit. You know, <laughs> that guy's just making it up as he goes along. There was a couple of them. Hey, buddy. I know. I know. I'm just walking by your house. Yep. Hey. Hello. Well, the, the yellow house travels in and food house is open. Doesn't surprise me. Cute dog. Short leg, but cute. Oh. Hello. Hello. Looks like a shawarma. All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Hey, man, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I walk, was walking down this road, and I almost did a Heidi. You know, Heidi and George from uh, Philippine Annex, when she slipped and fell, I almost did a Heidi. <laughs> That's what I, call. I know it's rude, Heidi. I, I'm just messing, man. Yeah, I almost made a fool of myself. It's like, whoop.